Hello guys, welcome back again on this channel. Thanks for the 100 subscribers. I've worked all day and yesterday on the new version of my portfolio slash CV or resume as you, you would say it in English. Let me show you this. I've made it on Figma because it's my app of choice to make this kind of things because you can control auto layout, the colors are unified and you can do variants and components so you can duplicate and I made an English and a French version. Okay, so here is the French version. I'm going to switch to the English one. Here is what I did. It's in a way just like this resume here. I got the inspiration from a wonderful guy. He's called Vlad Karpov. <laughs> I don't know if you would say that here. He's from Ukraine and he did this thing and I was like Wow, I really want to do some things like that. So here it is. I've copied the dimensions and some of the colors. Not everything though, because I want to make it my own. And it's like this. So you have on this side my name, things and what I'm all about. This is a small text I can personalize for every job. So those are my experiences with uh, the banking, startup and school projects association. Those are my projects and you can see more on Bento. I thought it would be cool to include the link and it's also available here on the QR code. And yeah, uh, this is pretty much all I've done. And I think it's the best way to put who you are in a, a small page like that. Uh, let me show you my old resume. So I made a list of all the resumes I had. This is the one I had so far. And it looks like a basic resume, I should say. I don't know if you can see it more like that. You have my name and things like that. But I, I was like, it's based on a template that I personalized. I think it was too classic. And this is much more newer. <laughs> I don't know, the old one was too classic and I was like, I need some things new, exciting, and this is powerful. This is exactly what I wanted. Just for fun, let me show you my old resumes in French that I made some years ago when I was starting up. This is the 1.0, okay? This is so basic. This one is my second one, also very basic. I put a lot of efforts in it at the time, but it was lacking some things. Uh, the 3.0 was much more elaborate because I did it on Photoshop and I had my experiences and all. I was in Lyon at the time. It was made on canvas. Canva. Okay, and the 4.0 was like this, but with less elements because I didn't add projects at the time. But yeah, that those are all things I did. Okay, the new one has been made on Figma at a resolution of 600 ppi on a landscape A4 model. I use Uniter, it's a free extension on Figma that allows you to set a centimeter size with a ppi def definition um, and you can get the relative pixel density here. Uh, those are my Figma extensions I use the most. So Phosphor Icons is for the icons, uh, Pretty Shadows gives you pretty shadows, it's uh, very very nice. You have all sorts of predefined shadows here. Error Patterns give you the ability to generate patterns like that. And you can choose in a list of various things. A rectangle Frame gives you the ability to convert a rectangle that you traced to a frame. Uh, I usually do that when I'm designing and I'm not very good at thinking I need to make frames to add auto layouts and things inside. Uh, Unator is exactly what I said it was. Uh, you just enter the width and the height uh, with the DPI and the unit and it gives you the relative thing and it resizes it. So this is 7,000 pixels wide, for instance. Actually, I use so many extensions here. I think it is the power of Figma to give you the ability to use extensions based for you freely. And it 
adds so much more to the experience when you have all those things. I wish some of them would be included in Figma, but because of that, not many people would use them and it would make the software more complex and look like Adobe software. And I don't know if they want to do that. Guys, after seeing the Apple event about the new iPads, I fell back in love with mine. It was not charged for like two months. Despite that, I love it. I love the format. I was watching a video on it. I love everything about this tablet. I got a matte screen protector, so it has cool colors and very cool surface to write on, even though my Apple Pencil has a bad battery, so I cannot leave it plugged in here or else it, it drains my iPad battery. It is so thin, it is incredibly cool to present apps and websites on it also because of the factor. It, it's all focused on the content of what's going on here. I was thinking of something about the last video, the rant about the corporate world. And it's that because I'm a YouTuber now, that I try to film myself every single day or almost every single day, I have to find purpose. So every action that I take during the day must have a lot of sense, meaning, so I can share it. And that's maybe why I find the corporate business somewhat sluggish and slow. Because if you are working normally, you don't need a lot of things in your life to get paid. I'm actually not getting paid from this YouTube channel for right now. So it's a lot of investment from my side. And I must show you interesting stuff. So that's why I'm not working on a normal job. <laughs> 